If you want to go shop till you drop, Junk Fest is starting up tomorrow too, so see what you can expect. We are so excited to finally get to host um, Junk Fest this year, and um, we tried to do it in April, and we weren't able to, but this is the month, and we're super excited. We're going to have anywhere from 30 to 40 vendors with vintage finds, um, handmade items, um, all kinds of cool stuff. It's something for just about anybody. Um, we'll have food trucks, we'll have live music, and a farmer's market, too, so it's going to be a fun outdoor event. We wanted it to, of course, be a festival because we're, we have music and food and everything, and so so um, junk just kind of covers everything. It kind of, you can call anything junk. So we just decided Junk Fest was probably the best uh, best title for it. It is very important um, for people to come and shop local because a lot of businesses here in Lubbock are locally owned businesses. And I feel like that they probably struggled the most. And so a lot of the vendors that are gonna be out here um, are also locally owned businesses as well. And so this month we're actually doing a free booth rent for them to just try to help them help the economy and the people that have been out of work. So we're really trying to, to get them back on their feet as well. We feel extremely blessed to be able to open back up. We're so excited that Lubbock was allowing us to, to do our festival and we just cannot wait to see everybody's shining faces and we're gonna take ex extreme um, caution on everything. Everything's gonna be regulated just like the city wanted us to do. So we're real excited about that. So we are practicing social distancing and we're only allowed so many people in the store and we will highly regulate that. There will be hand sanitizing stations um, at every single booth um, and we'll have a hand washing station as well, but it's outdoors and um, you can't get more social distancing than that than having the fresh air. <laughs> I am just excited about being able to see our vendors that we haven't seen since November and getting to see all of our customers that we haven't seen in a while and just everybody being able to um, shop and walk around and look at some really cool stuff. I started this because I had a whole lot of friends um, that sold items and always wanted to come and sell it at the store. We didn't have a whole lot of room in the store, so I was like, you know what, let's just start a little um, outdoor market, and the little outdoor market became a very big outdoor market, and so um, sometimes we have anywhere from like 80 vendors or more, um, and so we have a long list of friends now. We are just so blessed to have, to be here in Lubbock because um, we feel like Lubbock is really, really wonderful about supporting small businesses, shopping locally, eating locally locally and um, we could not be more proud to be a Lubbock in, in the Lubbock area. We do it the last Saturday of every month and so um, it's always um, behind the store at Wild West Vintage Decor and we have parking on each side and there's plenty of parking, there's plenty of room um, It's it's an absolute fun time. We are located um, at 8116 West 19th. We're only three miles past the loop um, um, on the north side of the road and um, it's free. There's free parking, free to get in, um, and we would absolutely love to see everybody. It's just going to be a fun way to um, celebrate getting Lubbock back on its feet. The hours, um, we will be here from 9 to 5. Definitely come early because some of the people will sell out because they have some really awesome stuff, um, and come and shop and eat with us, um, listen to live music. If you feel like dancing, dance, bring your dogs. We have a dog station. Um, we have kids out here all the time. They have a blast too because the kids can always find something too. So much fun. That looks awesome. And coming up after the break, it's Foodie Friday with Berkeley Hill. So stay with us.